Hello, I'm Jerry Hall. I'm a Brumfield Elementary School fifth grade science teacher and welcome to episode eight of Science at Home with Mr. Hall. Now I'm not at home right now, I'm just down the street and we were taking a bike ride last night, my, my sons and I, and we came upon something very, very interesting. Um, we saw some trees that look like this at the end. And we very quickly realized, Julian, that what, what did this? A beaver. A beaver. So beavers caused this to happen. They, beavers are um, large rodents, okay? And they're native to Virginia and a lot of places in North America. Um, a beaver is in, in the animal kingdom, and it is a vertebrate because it has a spine, has a, an internal skeleton. And of the five kinds of vertebrates, a beaver is a mammal because it's covered in fur and it gives birth to live babies and it's warm-blooded. Um, all the different mammals there are, beavers qualify as rodents because of the way their teeth and their jaw is. So I'm going to take this camera and I want to show you a couple of things. So what we, what we saw um, is a big pond where a pond never was before. And then we noticed that in a couple areas, there's this huge dam. Now, there's a couple of man-made things there, like that litter, but the rest of this stuff was put there, not by people, but by very determined rodents. So, beavers build these dams in a creek, and they create these large flooded areas that weren't there before. Oh, uh, just a minute, Julian. And they do that for several reasons. Um, one, beavers are prey species. So in the middle of this somewhere, and I haven't found it yet, they're going to build a big lodge where beavers can live and raise their young. And it's harder for predators like coyotes and things like that to get to beavers if they're living in a water lodge. Also, during the winter months, food is much easier to come by if you build your own little lake. But these beaver uh, areas will change the landscape. They change the area that they're in. So now there's a, an area of water that wasn't here before, which will, you know, it may, might make the owners of the property angry, but it also would provide a habitat for things that didn't have a habitat before. So you might get larger fish in something like this. You might have uh, amphibians such as frogs and salamanders that lay their eggs in this, in this area. And in turn, you'll have larger predators move in um, that would be uh, feeding on these these smaller uh, animals and I already saw some hawks in the way in here so uh, predatory birds as well yes so um, the overflow uh, will continue to flow downstream as well so beavers actually have the power to change the landscape around them and if we were to knock these down this dam down they would rebuild it very very quickly now, I'm not going to do that because I'm not one to mess up nature but how deep is that Liam Don't fall in there. Yeah, it's a few feet deep at least. So, the lodge is probably back there a little farther in the woods, and I, we can't find that yet. But there's several places where we have found this, this dam, and this lake was totally created by rodents. And I find that to be uh, quite fascinating, quite amazing. All right, so, hi guys. Um, we were just down visiting that beaver dam, and I, I got to wondering, could we replicate what the beavers were able to do? And so I found an area on the, in my backyard where there's a, a hillside, and, and we built up these sticks on, on between two areas where um, there's a little hillside here, and I'm hoping that maybe we can trap some water in here. So beaver dams are made to dam up creeks. So I'm going to start pouring some water, and let's see if it gets caught. Oh, no. oh it's If it gets oh, caught. No. I'm going to try to pour it rather slowly. Oh, yeah. Let's see if it, it at gets... least some of it. That's the, the look. Is it okay if some of the water gets through? Yes. Yeah, yeah definitely. I put there's a hole that hey, someone clogged up. So the check hole. out how this these beaver dams are creating a it's lake an island. where there yeah. wasn't a lake before, and it's changing the landscape around it. So Here you still wanna... have a creek, and you still have a lake. And you still have the, the stream flowing, but it's slowing the water down enough where you have, have this area where they can build their lodge in this lake 
and maybe uh, in return fish and amphibians and things can, can uh, survive here in this new habitat. So beaver dams are natural things and beavers can change our landscape um, just by building their dams. So humans can learn a lot. Human dams, we build our dams to get water and we also use them for hydroelectric power but human dams also let water through. You can't block it all. It's still going. And human dams create lakes back Whoa, here too. It's still going. So oh, you can do this in your own backyard with just a few hard. sticks and find an area in your yard that works. So we learned a lot about beavers today. Uh, they're nat natural engineers. Um, they are builders. And uh, rodents uh, can change the landscape around us and the habitat around us. Um, so thank you for joining me on episode 8 of Science uh, at Home with Mr. Hall. And as always, science is all around us.